stuff. Tell us, what do you think about the, the golf livery? Amazing. Uh, yeah, it has a real impact for sure. Um, I think even people that don't necessarily even follow like motor racing per se would still, I, I feel like everyone's seen these colors at some point in their life, whether it's in the, in the cinema, um, I don't know, it's a, uh, and the contrast as well of kind of like the, the light, like pastel kind of blue, um, mixed with them with like the fluoro orange is, is awesome. Yeah, what's your favorite bit? Probably that contrast, um, but actually even, even the front wing, you know, the fluoro, I'll call it fluoro orange, then on the, on the black, it really pops. So I think already the front wing is, is striking and, and then it runs up and like the racing stripe with the number, it, yeah, looks cool. So that's, that's number four at the moment. So we'll even look better with a three on it. You, uh, you mentioned that people may be familiar with the branding, even if they don't follow motorsport, but in terms of heritage in motorsport, how important do you think it is? Yeah, it's, I mean, I've, I grew up, I'm an eighties boy. I was, uh, so I, I certainly, um, yeah, I've, I've, seen a bit uh in my time you know with with motor racing i followed it from such a young age as well and uh yeah i think to have also this like tip of the hat to the history of motor racing in a place like monaco uh is is very very i'm not even going to use a big word very cool <laughs> and to know that i'll be you know it, it's a privilege i guess to be a part of it and to be behind the wheel of it um can't wait we know you're excited to be racing at Monaco, but how excited are you to be in this golf blue, this incredible livery? Uh, yeah, it's like the, the cherry on top, I think. Monaco is a place which naturally is already just so exciting and such a, a vibrant event. And to now be like with the golf colors there uh, and yeah, not only the suits, but all the team wear, um, Lando and myself are going to run like a retro kind of helmet livery as well. So we're doing the full thing and uh, yeah, it's going to make the weekend great. Obviously, three, four races in now uh, with McLaren. So you've experienced the McLaren fan base. How do you think uh, the fans are going to react to all of this? They're going to lose their mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, the McLaren fans are, it's pretty real. It's pretty real. Like the following is, is huge. I think it's the biggest on the grid. If, if I look at, uh, I guess, like social numbers, but yeah, it's, um, you really feel that the team, sorry, the fans want the team to do well, you know, like they want to see them win again. And it's like people I think have been with McLaren from probably day one, a lot of them. And uh, so now to, especially the, I'd say like the older generation fans to see this livery on track, uh, they might even tear up, who knows?